Hey everybody, welcome back to the best U.S. Mint News channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is October 29, 2024, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the 2024 American Silver Eagle with that star privy mark, so stick around. Now listen, before that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to reach a bazillion sub. It's a mighty big number. Not sure exactly how big it is, but it's got to be, say with me, ginormous. Also, guess what? We're always live and never edited. Now let's bump over here to MuddyMetals.com. Gold up 915 to 2762.90. Could we read? Well, now it's up 1010 to 2763.85. Could we see recurring highs? Yeah, absolutely. Silver up 42 pennies to 3431. Platinum up 1615 to 1061 in a nickel. And palladium up 17 even even to 1266.30. Over here, you're looking at an in stock American silver eagle whose premium is. 719 for quantity one through 39 you'll be paying 4150 isn't that something now over here they will buy them back for 3549 each next stop united states mints bullion sales no new tale to tell there so we're just going to keep on keeping on here we are we find ourselves at cgc video games and this is posted on 10 2024 that's just about a week ago today title of this article is new video game eighth era rewards players with ngc certified u.s mint star privy marked silver eagles absolutely and it says here with ngc special labels produced for the collaboration between nice gang and the united states mint and there they are um this one here uh, with the eighth era uh, is clearly the one to have if you go over to eBay. And now between these two, if it's the black core, the white core, the white core's uh, got a, the signature of Mark Salzberg, that one is probably going to be the one between these two um, that are highly sought after. And it's really interesting how they're able to use the United States Mint logo on there. I think that's fantastic, even though it's something that is uh, wholesale, right? So it says here, a new mobile gaming company. That's interesting. Nice gang. And you can go here to that hyperlink is collaborating with the U.S. Mint to promote numismatics and bring awareness to a modern generation of collectors. Now, do you think these new generation or modern generation of collectors know they're going to get hoodwinked or bamboozled into collecting coins, even though they think they're just going to be playing a video game? And these rewards are is real money. It's it's uh, silver. And could this video game ever become so popular that they give out gold and platinum and palladium coins? Wouldn't that be something? And would you play if that was the case? It says here, Nice King's first video game titled Eight Era is rewarding players with physical collectibles. And, and folks, I got to tell you, you know, I play the heck out of Fortnite. And you spend so much money uh, each and every single month with a new battle pass. And then if you like the skins, you got to get more skins. And like, it's, you know, it can cost you nine, ten dollars uh, for just, you know, a thousand uh, V-Bucks. OK, V-Bucks is their currency in game. OK, so but the problem is you don't really see anything tangible for your purchase. You know, and I tell my son that all the time, you know, he's into digital games. And I'm like, why don't you buy the one with the disc? At least you could resell it to somebody. And he's like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. I'm like, you don't want the physical hard copy. He's like, no, you want the digital. I'm like, but you can't sell it or resell it or sell it on eBay 20 years later, you know, and he's like, well, I don't care. I just want I'm like, all right your choice but um as we go further into video games um most everything is a digital download now therefore making companies like gamestop well irrelevant right so uh what's going on over gamestop well they sell video games but if you're able to download those through the manufacturer's website then why even go there to get uh, peripherals well maybe but anyway let's get back to this um i do know a lot about video games uh, i used to um consult for interplay all right, that made uh, quite a few amazing games. Uh, and they were on Von Karman in uh, Irvine, California, where I'm from, and uh, went to about uh, seven or eight different E3s uh, over there. Now, let's keep on keeping on. Nice Games, first video game, Title 8 there, is rewarding players with physical collectibles. That's right. That's tremendous, folks, right? Because generally, it's in the ether. It doesn't exist, right? Now, it's kind of like, would you rather have it in your hand, or would you rather have it be a piece of paper, right? It's that old... Uh, a question that silver stackers and people who stack precious metals ask themselves, would you rather have it in hand or would you rather have it digital where it doesn't really even exist? Like if the power goes out, it's gonzo, right? Now it says this allows players early access to first of a kind star privy mark silver eagle, which would be the lowest mintage bullion silver eagles in U.S. mint history. Did you hear that, folks? Lowest mintage of bullion silver eagles in U.S. mint history. Now there was one from 2020, I think, from Philadelphia emergency strike 
maybe about 500,000 or so, but those are bullion pieces. They don't have a mint mark on it. They don't have a privy mark on it. And if they were actually able to escape the the slab, you would never know that they were part of the emergency strike. So uh, these ones, yeah, not so much. As you can see, there's a star privy mark on there. Although uh, if it escapes this holder, you'd be pretty bummed because these are going for good money right now on eBay. Numismatic Guarantee Company, NGC, was selected to certify. I wonder why. Selected to certify the limited edition Silver Eagles by Nice Gang and created both old new 8th Air custom labels to complement the coins. The labels feature the 8th uh, Air and ninth, Nice Gang logos, along with the official United States Mint logo. I think that's interesting that they're able to use that. And some are also, whoops, some are also hand-signed by Mark Salzberg. I think those are the ones you want, folks, um, if you were to buy one, if, you, uh, if that's what you're so inclined to do. One of the world's most respected and accomplished numismatists. Absolutely, dudes. Uh, probably the best in the business. Co-founder of the Certified Collectibles Group, of which NGC is part, and now founder of Nice Gang. Um, and and uh, so let's go here real quick. Like, uh, there's an interview. Uh, and this is Gray Sheet, okay? So, and these guys are like the last word in pricing for uh, numismatics, okay? these This is like the go-to. Now, there's a uh, John Figenbaum and Mark Salzberg discuss Nice Gang video game and the new 2024 ASC Star Privy Coins. And it's about a half hour, um, but they talk kind of slow. So, if you can speed it up to two times, you'll get through it in 15 minutes. It's kind of cool. So, you learn the backstory from Mark Salzberg and his new adventure into the world of uh, bringing, Brennan, gaming, and physical rewards. That's a typo. That's okay. Nobody's perfect. Nor am I. But there it is. Um, and check this out. This is probably the most intense part of it all. It says Mark Salzberg discusses his groundbreaking video game with host Shine Feigenbaum. Players fight for real world artifacts. Real world. Tangible, right? In a virtual world. So they're bringing tangible items to a virtual world. That's huge. The U.S. Mint is already a huge supporter with a new Silver Eagle coin with a star privy mark, and the results so far have been an unqualified success. And that's not all, folks, because they're also going to be introducing a, yes, an American Silver Eagle. And I imagine that might be for next year, for 2025, with an Eagle privy mark. That's a big deal. Now, I've highlighted here the last sentence in this paragraph. It says, GraySheet.com sold out 300 NGC Mint State 70 first release coins in less than 12 hours. That's a big deal, folks. And here they are. Um, Silver Eagle, first star preview with eight there label. Now, it's actually Gray Sheet was able to pick these up. Yeah, and sell them on their website. I don't know how they did that, but they sure did it. At least that's what I'm under the impression. I think that's remarkable because they sold out of them. They had 300 and they're gone. So, yeah, look at there. Um, it's super exciting and we're proud to offer these until they're sold out. Yeah, and they're gone. Gonzo. Not going to happen. So what you got to do now, regrettably, is go over to um, eBay, the secondary market. And I would use these, and I will leave a link in the description. I would use these photographs, these images that you're seeing here, as kind of a guide as to what to look at. Now, here are the sold listings right here. And I think that's cool, actually, how they have a, a uh, seller um, profile at the top there. It's actually genius. So here we are. Ended recently for the 2024 American Silver Eagle Star Privy. And you're seeing some of them. Look at that. Advanced release. Generally, those command high dollar, but this one doesn't. It's Mint State 69. Oh, look at that. That's one a fancy label. That's not, it's it's uh, without Mark Salzberg's signature, but look at that, $249.99. Yeah, Gonzo, look at that, $180. Um, look at the difference there, uh, October 28, October 28. I'd say this person probably scored, and um, yeah, it, it comes with, oh man, I forgot. Um, maybe I can use it on the uh, images on the video here, but um, oh, I had a listener send me uh, the box here like this. And the pictures, and I was going to put this up here, and I totally spaced it. I apologize. My bad. I apologize. So look at this, 249 Like I said, this is the one to own, it seems like, the 139 there, and that's a Mint State 70. This is a Mint State 70. 139 there, 144 And this does have the star preview mark, folks. 139 159 Look at that, 224 And that's eight, that's eighth era, one of the fifth, first 50,000. There's another one, 224 Let's go to the ones that are actually available for you to purchase. I'm going to go ahead and clear all. Newly listed. There's 279 in hand. 279, 279. So it looks like one seller really is up on things and uh, they're probably going to do all right. Look at this one. It is, I uh, got, uh, it's a new one. It's up for your uh, bidding consideration and it's at 167. Look at this one at 379. Goodness gracious. 279 there, 126 there. Hello. Uh, yeah, that's got some bids, bids. And more bids. So there it is, folks. What do you think? Have you already picked one of these up? Did you pick a bunch of these up? 
tell me what you've done. Now let's go to those plus ones. This is a really cool one. I like this one a whole lot. It's one of my favorites. This says charity. He who lengthens the life of a poor man through charity will have his own life lengthened when his time to die comes. Isn't that something? I don't think we need even need to try and wrap our heads around that one. That's pretty explanatory, right? It's uh, lengthened. Now, let's go over here to 3 nines, fine, 99.9 K-O-I-N Coin News Radio. This is What a Wonderful World and Somewhere Over the Rainbow lyric video by Israel Kama Ka Vivo Ole. I probably didn't do that right, but either way, I gave it the old college try, and that's what's important, folks, right? Imagine um, about reading. So you got, look, 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 here, back it up. Reading is important, and I don't think we should ever make fun of somebody for mispronouncing a word, because that means they didn't hear it spoken by somebody else. That means they probably read it somewhere, right? They probably read it somewhere and didn't know how to pronounce it because it was the first time they ever heard of it, but at least they're reading and they're trying. I think that's really important. So let's uh, give those people a hand and a leg up. Now, with that said, I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And we do like what you hear and see. Hey, sub the channel. It's absolutely free. Also, guess what? Consider becoming a member. It's $1.99 per month. Um, what else can I say? It, there's there's major value in there, folks. I'm telling you, it's $1.99 a month over a 12-month period. That's less than $25. It's the price of a cup of coffee to hang out with Stacker each and every single morning, and it helps this content come out also, right? Think about that. That's If you like it, help support it, right? That's the bottom line. Stacker out.